Hello, my name is Jerry Bant with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will demonstrate how to modify the user level logging properties for the CMS Supervisor web interface. The CMS Supervisor web feature allows logging properties to be set at the individual user level. There are two methods to modify the user level logging properties. The first way is through the CMS Supervisor web interface. The second is to edit a properties file on the CMS server. Also be aware that the user log files are written to the CMS server, not to the user's PC. Now I will demonstrate the two methods for modifying the logging properties. First, I'm going to demonstrate changing the logging properties from the web interface. Through the web interface, you can only modify the logging properties for the user that is currently logged in. I am logged into a lab CMS as user CMS SVC. To modify the logging properties, click on user in the upper left corner. Then click on Preferences. In the User Preferences window, click on the Tracing tab. There are three logging properties that can be modified. The trace level, the number of trace files, and the rollover file size. To change any of these properties, select the drop-down arrow next to that property and select a new value. There are eight values to select from for the trace level, from off to all. Each value down the list provides more detailed tracing information. I am going to change the trace level to all for this user. You can select the number of trace files to be between 1 and 8. This setting controls how many log files will be kept for a user before the last one is discarded. I'm going to set this property as 3. There are 9 possible values you can select for the rollover file size. They increase in increments of 50 kilobits. I'm going to select 100 kilobits for this setting. Then click on the Apply button to change the logging properties. The logging changes will take effect immediately. To verify the change was made, you can again select User and then Preferences. Then click on the Tracing tab. The settings do show the new values. Now I'm going to click Cancel to exit this window. Next, I will demonstrate the second method for modifying the user level logging properties. This is done by editing a properties file on the CMS server. This method should only be used by qualified support personnel as it requires operating system knowledge and VI editing skills. You also need to be logged into the CMS server as a root level login. First, use the change directory command to go to the slash opt slash CMS web slash log directory. I will enter ls minus l to display the files in this directory. The current user log files will be named as the username.log. The first rollover file will be the same name with a dot one suffix. This listing shows that CMS SVC currently has two log files, the current dot log file and a dot log dot one file, which is the first rollover file. The log file rolled over when the size exceeded the 100 kilobit limit we put in this setting. To change the user logging properties, 
you need to edit the userlog.properties file. I will use VI to do this. Again, you will need to be knowledgeable in how to use VI to edit a text file to perform this work. In this file, each username will have three lines, one for each log file property. The three properties are formatted as username.level, username.filesize, and username.filecount. To change a property value, you need to go to the line you want to change and modify the value to the right of the equal sign. The valid values can be found in the CMS Supervisor R16.3 Installation and Getting Started document. This document can be found on support.avaya.com. The valid values for the level setting are the same eight that we saw in the web interface. They should always be capitalized. I'm going to change the CMS SVC dot level property to capital off. The file size values are in full bit equivalents. So 50 kilobits equals 51,200 bits. I will now modify the CMS SVC dot file size back to the original 51,200. The file count parameter value can be a number between 1 and 8. I will change the CMS SVC dot file count parameter back to the original 2. Now I'm going to write and quit the file to save the changes. I'm going to cat the file to show that the CMS SVC property values have been changed in the file. The display does show that these property values were changed. You will need to be extremely careful if you are editing the properties file on the CMS server. Mistakes in editing could cause the logging feature not to work properly. Also, it is good practice not to leave higher levels of logging, such as all, debug, or trace, enabled for a user unless it is required for current troubleshooting of an issue. This concludes the demonstration on how to modify the CMS Supervisor Web user level logging. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor.